it's been almost three years since the start of the Russia-Ukraine war. It means the world has witnessed a thousand days of death and destruction in Ukraine. Yet, even after all this time, the war shows no signs of ending. In fact, hostilities between Russia and Ukraine's Western supporters only seem to be getting closer to escalating into a full-blown world war. One of the biggest decisions made by Ukraine's primary supporter, outgoing U.S. President Joe Biden, has been to allow Ukraine to strike Russia with long-range Western weapons. This decision crosses Putin's so-called red line. It comes after Biden had long ruled out such actions. Russia has already called it a significant escalation of the war. Question is, does Biden's decision bring the United States and Russia closer to direct conflict? Will it lead to World War III? Let's start with what happened today. According to a New York Times report, President Biden has authorized the first use of U.S.-supplied long-range missiles by Ukraine for strikes inside Russia. The specific weapon in question, Atakams or Army Tactical Missile Systems, a supersonic tactical ballistic missile owned by Lockheed Martin. According to the report, the long-range missile will be first used against Russian and North Korean troops fighting Ukrainian forces in Russia's Kursk region. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has said that the missiles would speak for themselves. Today, there's a lot of talk in the media about us receiving permission for respective actions. But strikes are not carried out with words. Such things are not announced. Missiles will speak for themselves. They certainly will. Glory to Ukraine. Now that's a bold assertion. But the biggest takeaway is the fact that Biden's decision is a major change in America's policy. I say this because for far too long, the Biden administration staunchly opposed this particular decision. Despite Ukraine's persistent request, this issue had split Biden's team right down the middle. So what prompted this drastic change? Several factors could be the reason for this shift. One, outgunned and outmanned on the battlefield, Ukraine has long demanded permission to use long-range weapons against Russia. Second, Biden made the decision just two months before leaving the White House because President-elect Donald Trump has vowed to curtail further American aid for Ukraine. And three, Russia has deployed North Korean troops to boost its war effort in Kursk. Each of these factors could have influenced Biden's decision. But the pressing question is, in supporting Ukraine's demand for long-range weapons, has Biden inadvertently opened the door to a potential World War III? Because if the reports are true, the decision could significantly escalate the stakes in the war between Moscow and Kyiv. Remember, Russian President Vladimir Putin has repeatedly warned the West. He has said that any attacks on Russia's internationally recognized territory with American-supplied weaponry would be viewed as NATO interference directly in this conflict. Such actions, Putin has suggested, could lead to severe repercussions including retaliation against Western interests. So how did the Kremlin react to the news? Just how you would expect it to. On Monday, the Kremlin said that any U.S. decision to allow Ukraine to fire American missiles deep into Russia would mean it was directly involved in the war. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov accused Biden administration of escalating the conflict. Of course, the Kremlin spokesperson also noted that the reports were not based on any official statement. And so he maintains that if such a decision was indeed formulated, brought to the key, brought to key, then this is a qualitatively new round of tension, a qualitatively new situation from the point of view of America's involvement in this conflict. If such a decision was actually formulated and brought to киевского режима, то, конечно же, это качественно новый виток, виток напряженности и качественно новая ситуация с точки зрения вовлеченности Соединенных Штатов в этот конфликт. On the 12th of September, Putin had last warned that Western approval for such a step would mean the direct involvement of NATO countries, the United States and European countries in the war in Ukraine. 
because NATO military infrastructure and personnel would have to be involved in the targeting and firing of the missiles. According to news agency Reuters, Kremlin is calling Biden's unconfirmed move as an extremely provocative one. Which brings us to the next question. Will this decision truly help Ukraine on the battlefield? Will it change the outcome of the war? War experts don't bet on it. You see, when Ukraine sent its soldiers across the border to seize a piece of Russian territory in Kursk, it marked the first time U.S. weapons had been used on internationally recognized sovereign Russian soil since the war began. Russian officials repeatedly cautioned the West that it's playing with fire by probing the limits of what a nuclear power might or might not tolerate. Remember, Putin has also recently changed Russia's nuclear doctrine to say that any conventional attack on Russia aided by a nuclear power such as the United States could be considered to be a joint attack on Russia. Then in late October, Putin said his defense ministry was working on different ways to respond if the United States and its NATO allies helped Ukraine to strike deep within Russia with long-range Western missiles. Is Biden then testing Putin's red line? Has the U.S. outgoing Biden administration just made matters worse? Has Biden plunged the world into a World War III scenario before leaving the White House? We'll have to wait and watch how Russia responds. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.